All right, hi everybody. This is the Math 31 Exponential and Logarithmic Functions Review. This is question 4B. We're just going to find the intervals of increase and decrease, uh, maxima and minima, concavity, and blah, 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 of this logarithmic function. Now, the first thing to notice here, right away, is that notice that the square is the exterior function of this, meaning okay, that that square isn't on the x. Okay, it's on the natural log. So the, there's going to be a restriction here. Because we're not squaring that term here, the domain of the natural log is going to become an important feature here. And the domain is that x has got to be greater than 0. Okay, So we're already restricted here a little bit. So now let's take the derivative and talk about what's going on here. So the derivative is going to be 2 times the natural log of x times the derivative of the natural log of x, which will be 1 over x or, or um, well, it'll look like that, two, 2 natural log of x over x. So now I'm interested in where this thing is equal to 0 or undefined, okay? because that's where my critical numbers would be. But the critical numbers have to be in the domain of the function. And although this thing is undefined at 0, my domain is greater than 0. So 0 is not a critical number. So I'm, when I set this equal to 0 here, uh, I'm really just looking at where the numerator goes to 0. And the numerator is going to go to 0 when x is equal to 1. Okay, that's, where, that's what's going to force the natural log to go to 0, so when x is equal to 1. So now we can take a quick look at the interval here. Now here's 0, uh, there's nothing going on to the left of that. But let's just take a quick look here. Uh, choose a number less than, less than 1. Uh, well, when you do that, the natural log is going to become negative. Okay, uh, it's still going to be positive, the x is still going to be positive, so that's going to be 2 times a negative over a positive, that'll be negative. And if you choose a value greater than, uh, than 1, the natural log will be positive over a positive value times 2 will be positive. So this thing is going to be decreasing okay, on the interval 0 to 1, and it'll be increasing on the interval 1 to infinity, Okay, which gives us a minimum, okay, oops, a minimum at the point 0 comma, I'm sorry, not zero comma. Ah, I just finished saying zero is not in the domain. Sorry. The minimum at one comma, well, what? Well, what's the log of natural log of one is going to be zero squared is zero. So we're going to have a minimum at one zero. Now let's take a quick look at the second derivative so that we can come up with intervals of, of concavity and the points of inflection. Well, that's going to require us taking the derivative of the derivative. So this is going to require the quotient rule. So the derivative of the numerator will be 2 over x, okay, times x, the denominator, minus the derivative of the denominator will just be 1 times the numerator, 2 natural log of x, all over x squared. Well, the numerator, that's going to simplify down to be 2 minus 2 natural log of x all over x squared. Oh, sorry, can't see that. Now, once again, when we're we're looking for points of inflection. We are looking for where this thing is either equal to zero or undefined. But it's going to be undefined at zero, okay? And again, zero is not part of the domain of the function here, so that's really not an issue where it's undefined. What I'm interested in is where it's equal to zero, and that is going to be when the natural log is equal to one. And just think about that. Two minus two equals zero here. Convert forms here, and I'm going to get e is equal to x. So I'm going to get a point of inflection when e is equal to x, and that's going to be where the concavity is going to change here. At least let's, let's take a look and see what happens here. So here's 0, here's e. I put 0 here because there's, there's no function to the left, so I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, take a look at our second derivative. Let's choose a number less than e here. Okay, If we choose a number less than e, then the natural log, and I, I don't know, maybe choose the, well, yeah, for example, choose the number 1, okay? Eh, the 1's easy. So, uh, okay, yeah, 1 is easy here. 2 times the log of 1, okay, log of 1 is 0, so this is going to be 2 minus 0 over 1. It's going to be positive. So this is going to end up being concave up. If you choose a number larger than e, okay, um, and it doesn't really matter what you pick here, because the natural log of 
of E is 1. Anything bigger that's going to be bigger than 1, okay, that numerator is going to become negative and the denominator is going to stay positive here. So this will end up being negative. So this thing is going to be concave up on the interval 0 to E, concave down on the interval E to positive infinity, which gives us a point of inflection at the point E comma come back up to the original here, if you plug in E into this, the natural log of E is 1 squared is 1. So this is going to have a point of inflection at the point E comma 1.